Hey YouTube, it's Everything he Pan here, and today I have a video tutorial on how to install Windows Me in VMware. That's right, I said VMware. The only the reason why I say that is it's that's the only thing I've been able to have it work with. I have not been able to get it to work with VirtualBox. I've tried everything I can, just VirtualBox is not working for me. It could work for you guys, so I'm gonna call this how to install. Windows VirtualBox, uh, Windows Me in VirtualBox, but I'm also going to call it VMware as well. So I'm going to call it. This video is titled right now, "How to Install Windows Me in VirtualBox slash VMware Workstation," or not Workstation, but yeah, I'll figure it out. But something like that because I'm using VMware for this tutorial because this is the only one that works. If you guys want VMware tutorials on any other, like any, even of any of the operating systems I've done already, in case you aren't familiar with the interface of VMware, I can do that for you. Like Windows 95, I could do that tutorial again. Windows, like Windows 98, stuff like that, I could do that again. I may start using VMware sometimes more often than VirtualBox, just because VirtualBox, it's been kind of buggy lately for me, and VMware has been working well. I may even be able to release a Mac OS X uh, tutorial if uh, there's an El Capitan uh, version released right now. But without further ado, we will go ahead and begin this tutorial. So, the first thing you will need in the description is VirtualBox. And that's for you users that I believe have it will work for VirtualBox. But for me, uh, it's working for VMware. So if you guys want a link for VMware, I can put it in the description. i uh, probably end up doing it anyway, but um, this is the VirtualBox link. A VMware will be in the description. It will be in a RAR file, of course, without a password, but the Windows Me ISO will be with the password. You also will need an MS-DOS and I will get to that in a minute. But without further ado, we're going to just go ahead and just get through the tutorial. So go ahead and open up VMware or VirtualBox and then you're going to go ahead and do um, create a virtual machine in this. So for VMware users it's new virtual machine and this is VMware workstation by the way. Then just hit typical next so for you VirtualBox users, you can watch my other tutorials um, to figure out this little setup process. But um, for installer, um, installer, uh, installing stuff, just do I will install the operating system later. Hit next. Hit Microsoft Windows, then version of Windows Me. Hit next, and then name it whatever you want. I'll just name it Windows Me. Hit next. Um, Store it as a single file. That's normally what I do. I just think it's a lot easier, even though it says it makes this easier, but I just store it as one single file and leave it at the recommended size for either one of you guys. Hit Next. And then I'm going to bump down my custom hardware to the VirtualBox recommended memory of 128 megabytes. And then hit Close. Then hit Finish. And for you VMware users, you'll have to do this, but VirtualBox users, you won't. This is kind of confusing. I'm doing two at the same time, but that's all right. For VMware users, hit Edit Virtual Machine Settings. Then hit Add down here for the hardware. Then you want to hit Floppy Drive. Hit Next. Hit Use Floppy Image. Hit Next. And then browse for your MS-DOS uh, floppy drive. Uh, your floppy images. That link will be in the description for you guys along with the CD-ROM. You will need that as well. I'll get to that in a minute. Go ahead and hit finish, and your floppy should show up. So then you hit OK, and then go ahead and power on the virtual machine. It'll say starting MS-DOS, so it's very similar for both of you guys, but I can make some more VMware tutorials. Then just go through the basic setup of Microsoft DOS, so just hit enter to continue, and then hit enter again to configure the space, hit enter again, it'll restart the virtual machine. It'll format the C drive, or the so-called C drive, of your virtual machine. And then just confirm these settings are correct. It doesn't really matter. It's just the time and the date, but it really doesn't matter. Hit o or Enter. And then hit Enter again for this. And then this is where the part you're going to need to enter in your uh, 
setup disk. So you're going to, for VMware users, right-click on the machine, hit settings. And this is kind of a struggle, I know. Then hit the floppy, then hit browse, and then hit disk number two, hit open, then OK. And go back into this, hit enter, and you're going to do the same thing. Go ahead and hit this, settings, floppy, browse, disk three, open, OK, enter. Then the setup will be finished. And then you're going to want to go back in and remove the disk three. And then for VM users, you can, or for any of you guys, I think, just go ahead and enter in the CD-ROM. And then hit OK. Then hit Enter. Hit Enter again, or we start the virtual machine, and it should boot up into MS DOS. And you have just successfully installed MS DOS. And now you have to install the CD driver because people would just think, oh, I can enter in the Windows Me ISO. Well, you can't do that right away because there's no CD driver installed with MS DOS. Plus, this uh, ISO doesn't work by itself for some reason. So what you want to do is, in the virtual machine, you want to hit A colon, enter, and hit setup.bat. You have to make sure you have the CD-ROM image entered uh, in your floppy disk. Hit uh, enter, and then it will say setup complete. You want to go back to the machine, hit settings. This is different for both users. You're going to want to go ahead and just... Um, disconnect the floppy drive then put in the Windows Me ISO which will be in the description along with the product key so let me browse to that, there it is it'll just be called Windows Me, it won't be called, well I guess I could leave that, it doesn't really matter but, um, then hit OK and then sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, if you hit D colon yeah, you probably have to restart the virtual machine. You restart the virtual machine after the setup of the CD driver. Because then, once MS-DOS is started, you will get this down here. This is the CD-ROM device driver. And this will be, it says drive D. So if this is different, look at this right here. It'll say D colon for most users. It could be different for any other users. But this is what you want to enter in right here. This letter and then a colon. So for me, it'll be D colon, hit enter. Then you want to hit setup, or type in setup. It'll say, and then this is just the basic setup for Windows 95. So I'll go ahead and make this full screen for you guys. I guess it won't really matter too much, but... So it'll get to the 100% on preparing the setup wizard, and you'll get to the basic setup inst instructions on uh, uh, Windows Me. Then you hit Next, accept the license agreement, hit Next, and then this is where you're going to enter in the product key, so I'm actually going to do that now. Um, but I'm going to do a jump cut for you guys to uh, get to the next part of the setup after the product key. And uh, I'll be back with you guys then. Alright, product key has been entered in. So the next thing you're going to want to do is just hit next on the screen. It'll check for installed components. And then usually on VirtualBox, this is why I'm trying out VMware. Well, not really trying out using VMware for this. Um, after I entered in the product key, it gave me an SUWIN error, and I've seen a lot of people have that error with other OSs on my videos, and I, to be honest, I have not found a fix for that yet. But if, it, if you get that error in VirtualBox, I just recommend using VMware because I think it'll work better. But once uh, the checking components is finished, just hit next for the typical installation. Um, I believe you do have to enter in a name, so I'll just hit everything EPAN for a name. Hit next, and then install the most common components. Hit next. Computer name, me, PC. I'll just call it that. And then hit next. Um, United States for country. It could be different for some of you guys. I'm in central time. Automatically for daylight saving time, since daylight saving time is going on. And, uh... We're going to hit cancel on this, hit OK, 
and then finish. That's just to create a backup drive or like a safety drive or something. Just cancel that. You don't need it. It's just a virtual machine. So now it'll go through the file copy process. And it, um, even though I've installed this before, this is the farthest I've ever been. I've never gotten this far in VirtualBox, but in VMware I have. So that is just insane how it doesn't work for one but works for the other but that is good if you get to this part because a lot of people have been having errors with that SW SU win or S yeah something like that SU win error and then it just completely closes out of the setup I have not found a fix for that really to be honest maybe the fix is just try VMware or if you're having that problem VMware try VirtualBox if you're having a problem with them both um, you may have some problems with how your uh, virtual machine setup and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and let this uh, uh, go through the file copy process, and I will be back with you guys when um, we hit either a restart point or some part of the setup where we can show you a tutorial or something like that. You know what I mean. Okay, so we have hit the point where it says setup is now ready to restart your computer. We move all disks from floppy disk drives and click OK to restart. So I'm assuming that means to remove the disk drive so we hit OK and hit OK on this and restart now there's a Windows Me Millennium Edition Windows Me boot up screen which is good to see That means you're getting pretty far in this setup. So it's now going to initialize driver database. And setting up hardware and plug and play devices you may have. Not sure if another window is going to pop up. It seems like another window is going to pop up. But, as you can see, the estimated time remaining on the left here, it started at 18 minutes, now at 15, so you just demolished now 4 minutes of time in about 30 seconds. So, copying files, that'll post up for a little bit, and literally it's just going to be just setting up just a lot of your devices on your computer this is pretty much just kinda like the final stages of the installation because you're already down to 12 minutes and you're at 18 minutes to start this off so will this include like your graphics your keyboard mouse um, possibly I'm sure sound displays there's probably ways you can put USBs on a virtual machine, like USB drivers, something like that. But I'm not really sure if I want to sit and wait, or if I want to do a jump cut. Oh, now it's detecting non-plug-and-play hardware. So this could take some time. It's already at 24%. So I'm not really sure, do I leave it or not? I'm going to do another jump cut, so we're going to go ahead and let this sit, and I'll get to the no another point where it's going to hit the restart point, so I'll be back with you guys then. Alright, we have hit a restart point. There's 10 minutes on the estimated time remaining, which likely will not be the estimated time remaining. It'll probably be like 5 minutes at most. You'll end up hitting the boot screen again after the restart. And then, we should be getting to the actual final stages of the Windows Me setup. It'll pop up with the screen. It's going to do some more plug-and-play devices again so I guess maybe that's why it restarted just to see 
maybe some of these devices started working or something. Oh, this is, yep, I remember this part. It does like, yep, control panel programs on the start menu, Windows help, tuning up application start, and system configuration. Those are the steps. So, it's going to update system settings. This can take some time, so I'll be back with you guys either when we hit a restart point or when we hit another screen. All right, we have hit the restart point and make this full screen. We're going to go ahead and restart now. I just made a time remaining less than a minute, so we should not have that kind of screen again. We should be able to hopefully get into the interface, actual Windows Me desktop, quickly here. You'll get the boot up screen again. That's what Windows Me was like back in 2000. Yeah, this is the one that came out in, uh, um, like, late 2000s. Mm, I wouldn't say late. Like, I think Windows 2000 came out in February, and the other one came out in, like, later. A couple months later. But, um, it's going to ask for a password, but there is no password. Just just hit OK. It's going to update system settings, and then it should log you in. Gonna do some other stuff. So the bar is full on system settings. We'll see if we actually get a desktop or a log on sound or something. I don't know, do I really, I, sometimes I don't like to sit here and wait just because I think right as I stop to do a jump cut or something, something's going to happen. Or if I wait too long, then the video will get long. Here we go. I think we're getting somewhere. Hmm. It's doing something. You can see the hourglass blinking probably like loading your desktop for the first time or something. Yep, it was. There it is. Windows Me has been successfully installed on your computer. Congrats. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But there you guys go. There's your video tutorial on how to install Windows Me in VirtualBox slash VMware. That's the first tutorial I've used VMware with for you guys. So. Maybe if you guys want me to start doing VMware more often, um, you can just post in the comments. That's all I want to know. So um, That's it, pretty much. That's the video tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Check out my other videos. Subscribe uh, if this video tutorial helped. Plus, if you want more tutorials, also subscribe. Um, like the video as well. And share it. Help, uh, help out others that want to uh, have this work for them. Um, comment below with suggestions and if you want me to do any other kind of videos pretty much. So, um, once again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.